I can remember it just as if it were yesterday, you know, the big build-up, the magic man against the bird man, and really they did not play against one another very often. Winning is the most important thing for Urban, never how many points, how many assists, uh, the statistics he'll look at, glance at, throw aside, all he wants is the bottom line, did we win or did we lose? Magic just had greatness stamped on him. The minute you walked in the gym and watched him warm up, just his court appearance, his court presence, and then when he saw him play, saw the versatility and the different things that he did, you just said, hey, there's an All-American in the future, and certainly uh, we were all right in analyzing his talents. The schedule is getting clearer by the moment. We do have the schedule now for Saturday. Here's what it looks like. LSU and Louisville will be in the first game of the national semifinals. That's at 3.30 Eastern from Reunion Arena. That'll be followed in the second game by either Kansas or North Carolina State against Duke. And that'll tip off at about 6 o'clock Eastern time. Do you have a favorite right now, Bill? Well, Duke is number one coming in, but I like Louisville because they play above the rim. They've got depth, great athletic ability. They've won 15 in a row. Duke has won 20, but I enjoy the way Louisville's playing. All right. The makings of one of the best Final Fours uh, you could ever really remember. Mm -hmm. All right. 20 minutes to go, and we'll be all set uh, to go to Dallas. The road to the Final Four continues. Second half action coming up in just a moment. By four. What a great hustle play by Chris Washburn on the inside. First of all... People don't give credit to a great catch as much as they should. Washburn missed time that pass and still was able to up and get it with a left hand. Now he heads back down court. That's where the problem comes to Kansas. Now we want to show you Charlie Shackelford coming right down the middle. Washburn off the steal, rises up, and Shackelford breaks back. And look at how close he came to tying the score, and it would have been legal. The horn didn't sound until Shackelford was down off of the ball had rolled away from the rim. How about some of the stats, Billy? Well, I think it's been an interesting half, and we can see that the pace of the game favors NC State. Field goal percentage, Kansas way ahead, but they're not getting a lot of easy baskets on the press. State probably should be shooting a little better than that, considering the shots they've had. Now, offensive rebounds. You can see that North Carolina State, with those two big men inside, they're doing a job. And with Darling and Manning having to spend so much time on the bench, that's really helped NC State. How about the turnovers? Well, turnover is not bad. Kansas is going to turn the ball over a little bit more because they're trying to force the break that's not there. The key is the fact that Jim Balvano is dictating the pace of this game. He has made it a half-court game. He's kept the crowd out of it, and the Jayhawks would like to run a little more. They would. Of course, the second half, they're gonna... Larry Brown did a good job in the first half resting Manning, keeping drawing out of any more foul trouble. I expect him to come back with that team and try to force Temple. Maybe do it by pressing a little bit. He hadn't done much of it in the first half. All right. The second half is coming up as CBS's coverage of the NCAA championships continues after this message and a word from your local station. The legendary Mercedes-Benz SL Coupe Roadster. To every reason you ever had for wanting to drive it, you can now add one more. A mighty new 5.6 liter light alloy V8 engine. Noticeably, went over and sat down, and we received word that he injured a knee pulling down a rebound in the first half. The doctors were looking at it, and they said he will try to play here in the second half, and we'll just have to see how serious that injury is. Well, Brennan, it was a rebound. It sure had to be near the end of the game because he was playing full bore there at the end of the first half. Kansas leading North Carolina State, 35-24.